Hello everyone. Welcome to Gotham Digital Learning. I'm your trainer Musab Sayed and today we are going to talk about in this video a very important and critical concept where many people face problems while you're working in your real scenarios. A couple of time back when I was working, one of my client complained me that when the system is restarting, they are not able to log in into the system. The system is booting, but it is hung at one place where it is showing control D or emergency mode option. Let us try to understand here that what is this issue and how we can resolve it. So today, first, I'll show you that what issue is that and why we face this issue. Normally, you see when we create partitions, you create partition, you format it and you mount it. For example, here in this my Linux machine, I'll run fdisk-l. You see, I created a partition SDA5. Not only I have created the partition, but as you can see, it is formatted with XFF, having the universal unique ID that can be used for mounting purposes. Now, having said that, once the partition is created and mounted, we also try to make a permanent mount. Now, mostly we go to etcfs tab and here we put five or six field where first field would be the name of the partition. Second field will be the mount point, as you can see. Third field is the type of file system. Fourth field is the mount option. Default, that means read and write. And disabling, dumping and disabling the check sequence. That means to check the health of the file system during boot. Now, in any of this field, if you do mistakes, next boot, the system is going to hum in emergency mode. What is the problem and how to resolve it? For example, maybe I have made a mistake in UUIDs. Maybe I have given a wrong mount point or maybe it is formatted with XFS but I have given ext4 or maybe simply I have done a spelling mistake. For instance, here it is XFS. Now by mistake, I type XFSS. So this is a wrong name of the file system what I have done. What I'll do is I'll just save it like this. See guys, in real scenario, we never reboot the system quickly. If today I have rebooted the system, maybe next six months or eight months or maybe one year down, I need to reboot the machine. So if you do mistake today, you'll face the consequences at next reboot. Maybe it is six months later, eight months later, or maybe one year later. Now you see I made a mistake in FS tab. Let's reboot the machine and witness where is the problem we are going to face. I'm going to reboot the machine. Now as soon as I reboot the machine, let me go to my virtual machine console and let's have a view that how the system boots. So here you go, the grip screen comes and the system starts to boot. Now as soon as the system starts to boot, it is going to search FS tab in FS tab, it is going to mount all the entries. But as we have made a mistake in one of the entry, the system is not going to boot. Instead, it is going to halt. And now you can see on my screen in a moment, there will be a message appear that there is a problem somewhere. It may not be able to tell you where exactly what is the problem. But here it is going to tell you that give the root password to go into maintenance mode and try to fix out this issue. Or it is also telling you to just reboot or press control D to reboot this stuff. Now you don't have to reboot it. You don't have to press control D over here because if you press control D, believe me, it will just take another three, four minutes. And again, it is going to bring you back to same place. Now, if you don't really want it to fall into this trap, then what you can do is you can type the root password here. For security reason, when I type the password, 
you will not be able to view what password I'm typing. But when I hit enter, you see I'm able to log in. So what I did here is I have given the root password. Now after typing the root password, please type lsblk hyphen f. This is going to display all the partition names and their IDs, etc. Next thing over here is you will be able to read etc fs tab. What you have to do, the proper remedial measures over here is you need to go to each entry and scrutinize it check it where is the problem you have done see sda1 sda2 sda3 sda4 sda5 and there are uuids so please match the ids first of all that you have given correct ids second thing you need to check the mount point these directories what you have mentioned exist maybe one of the directory is deleted so probably you can check and correct it then the third place you can verify the file systems what it has been used if you see sda5 is formatted with xfs file system but when i have given the entry over here i can see that i have done a mistake that instead of xfs i have given x FSS. So this mistake is going to cost you the problem. What we can do? We have to go to FS tab and fix this issue. Remove this entry. Let me do it. Now I'll edit the file as I found it. ETC FS tab. And here just remove that extra S and you see the correction has been completed. What else can be the mistake? See sometimes what happens? You have created a partition. You formatted you mount it. Now later you have deleted the partition, maybe one extra partition created. Now there is no need of it. So you went to F disk and you deleted the partition or maybe through parted command you have deleted the partition. But by mistake you haven't removed the entry from FS tab. You deleted the partition but you forgot to remove the entry from FS tab. So at next boot the system will search for that partition. As it is not able to find that partition it will try hard 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 and always try to stuck up over there so in this case what we have to do is we have to remove that extra entry from FS tab now 99% the problem during boot will be FS tab entry if you see this screen where we are halting the first thing you have to do is verify FS tab and I promises you that you will find the culprit there only. Maybe there is a wrong entry or maybe there is an entry of the partition which is deleted. So if there is an extra entry of the partition, delete it. If there is a wrong entry, correct it. And once you have done that, come out of this file after the correction and simply say exit. See, I'm not rebooting the system. It's like you have started from your house and in between you have done some corrections to your car and bike and you have continued your journey, right? So as soon as I say exit, you see the system will now try to boot normally and it boots quite easy, right? So this is the way how you can fix the issues of your boot things related to mount. So whenever there is an issue related to mounting and that affects your booting, you can fix it. So boot time issue for mounting can be fixed in this way and you see your system is started, right? So I hope today you have learned a very important troubleshooting that is going to be very helpful in your careers and in your interviews as well. Thank you very much for coming on to this video. We'll meet back again in another video with one more topic. Have a nice day.